What's up, everyone? Welcome back to the Unconventional Money Moves podcast. I got a real treat for us today. I got Ken Smith, the CEO and co-founder of Elite Assurance Team. He's a helping bring financial professionals together to help serve their clients throughout the country. And he started in the industry back in 93. So he's seen it all. He's done it all. And he's seen all sorts of problems with the industry, which has led him to his current venture with the Elite Assurance Team. So happy to have Ken on to share what they're doing over there. So what's going on over at uh, the Elite Assurance team right now, Ken? What are you guys working on? Yeah, let me give you a little bit of an update here, Josh. Uh, good to see you today. Glad you're having a good day as well. Um, yeah, as you said, I've been in the industry since 1993. And I started out with Jefferson Pilot, which later actually became Lincoln Financial. And, uh, you know, I was selling life insurance Less than a year, I really kind of moved over into doing seminars. I did those for almost 20 years. I was a top producer in the industry uh, doing the seminars. I actually qualified in the top 1% uh, for 19 years straight of all financial advisors. So it was productive. But, you know, kind of around 2008, I recognized a need for a change. And, you know, I'd been doing seminars, which... I kind of felt like I was on a fast moving train that I couldn't get off. So I had to produce big numbers every month just to really kind of maintain my expenses. And, you know, my income was kind of maxed out with the type of clients that come to come to seminars. And, you know, I was doing pretty well, uh, averaging actually just over nine hundred thousand dollars a year gross. That was before expenses. You know, I had big seminar expenses, big office expenses, big staff expenses. My expenses were running probably around, I would say, thirty-five to 45000 a month. So really, I looked at the industry and I wanted to move off the fast moving train. And I knew there was more potential in the industry, but I couldn't get there was what with what I was doing. So I wanted to work with business owners, higher net worth clients. Uh, business owners and high net worth clients don't really come to seminars very often. I might get maybe, you know, maybe one or two a month, but, uh, you know, uh, but really not many more than that. They usually would be compelled to come in and see me. But after it was all said and done, uh, they liked the plan, but they always came back to right before signing, you know, let me just run this by my CPA. So I recognize CPAs had the trust of the clients. And that was kind of the entrance into the world that I wanted to be in. Now, I was doing um, seminars every quarter for my clients, and I had a very good relationship with them. But CPAs seem to have a little bit different trust level with the high net worth clients and business owners. So after a couple of years of researching the industry and planning, uh, I made the transition to working with CPAs. I cut, I cut the seminar expenses. I cut the office expenses. I cut the staff expenses. Expenses went to nearly nothing. I started working with a business partner, Anton Anderson, and we worked for a few years with this model. And, you know, we were pretty successful with it. And so, as you might, might imagine, we had a lot of interest in what we were doing early on all over the country. People were calling us, you know, what do you think about this? And, well, you know, what about this? And, you know, can I pay you for your time to, to kind of help me navigate through this process? And so, you know, we had a vision of creating a model that really delivered a win, win, win. And, to most importantly, I would say probably to the client, to the CPA, and us as the advisor. So having the interest from advisors all over the country, early in 2014, we launched Elite Resource Team and Elite Assurance Team. Anton is now the CEO of Elite Resource Team, and I'm the CEO of Elite Assurance Team. But just, just a minute more here. ERT was a training and education company. And I'll talk about that first. And then I'd like to get into a little bit of discussion about Elite Assurance Team. But basically, we taught advisors how to work with 
CPAs, and our virtual family office to provide clients everything they need within the five disciplines of finance, Josh. It really represented tax planning, wealth management, risk mitigation, business planning, and legal services. So if the client had a need that was outside the expertise of the advisor or the CPA, somebody within the expert of our virtual family office could handle that solution. So our virtual family office, the VFO, is made up today of about 75 of the country's very best specialists. And by establishing true partnerships with CPAs, these partnerships developed actually into proactive planning teams. And this was the advisor, the CPA, and the VFO. So I like to preface to people, this is not a referral relationship. These are true proactive planning teams. So we were able to operate very similar to a family office structure for much lower net worth people because offering holistic type of planning clients is really what it's all about. The original family office started in the late 1800s by the Rockefellers. And they, you know, the, it was really for decades for very high net worth families because it was very expensive to operate a family office with all disciplines covered. And so what we did is looking at our model now, you get the same type of planning done, but for a much lower net worth individual. So as you might imagine, the need generally suits the business owner or the high net worth client. There's, there's also application for the mass affluent, but the business owner and the high net worth client today is, is you know, has the ticket. It's a one-stop shop where they get all their needs met by the people they trust. So that gives you kind of an overview. How, how difficult was it for you to give up? Was essentially a good income to pursue this? Yeah, I've always had a pretty strong discipline in my life. And when I made the decision to cut ties, um, I don't know if you're aware of the of the story in the Bible about Elijah, but when God called him, basically what he did was burned his oxen. So he didn't have a way of going back to what he was doing before and offered it up as a sacrifice to God. And with me... I basically, I knew, like I said, I'd been investigating this for a couple of years. So when I made the transition, I cut ties with the old thing I was doing. Um, most people don't have, you know, don't have the same situation. They can cut their ties like I did. I sold my business, but what I was doing previously, but some people choose to, kind of do what they're currently doing and run two tracks, then transition into the new model. So they've got income coming in while they're transitioning. And then within a year or two, they're in a different world. When you believe in something, it's important that you actually pursue it because so many people out there get stuck in a job. They're like, well, I can't find another job to do what I'm doing now, or I really want to do this. And they just never get started. So it's super cool to hear someone like yourself who took a risk and it was a big risk going into a new adventure, but that just shows how much you believe in this system. What have you seen in this system that you've helped create that has allowed you to see success in a whole new adventure in this phase of your career? Oh, it's, it's, it's really a lot of fun. I mean, it's, it's, it's a lot of work too, you know, it's, it's challenging and, and, but what we've seen really, and what you kind of base anybody's success on is the results, you know, that come from it. And when we look at the advisors that are, have been with us for a while and, and the success and the results they're having, I mean, it's incredible. It's through the roof. It's uh, very exciting. 
And when you made that transition, what what year was that? You said two thousand and. Yeah, I well, we I started looking at the different factors in the industry around two thousand eight, and I said, you know, there's got to be a different way, um, because what I was doing, I knew other people were making more money, and I knew, and money isn't everything by any means, but I knew they were not working any harder than I was, so. I really, you know, I started saying there's got to be a better way. And I really spent a few years investigating it and started working with Anten uh, around 2009, 10-ish. And then um, we did that for a few years. And then, again, having that interest in the model decided, you know, we said probably this is a model maybe whose time has come maybe we should work with helping advisors all over the country do well um, instead of just him and I individually on our own. And so we launched it in 2014. At, at what point did you start gaining traction? Because you can't just, you essentially gave up a good career, which most people would not give up in order to create this new system. Yet it took a little while to gain gain some headway, what, what, what did that look like? Well, what I tell most people is I say, you know, what I would look at if it were me is I would look at the idea. Now, most people, again, are going to be running two tracks. So they're doing enough of what they're currently doing to maintain lifestyle because you can really work with this model with very little time early on. So you might need to spend, you know, 30, 35 hours a week doing what you're currently doing to make the kind of money necessary for you to maintain lifestyle. And then the other five to 10 hours a week you spend on, on elite resource team and elite assurance team making the transition. And like I said, over time, you're going to become more and more successful with the the ERT EAT model and you'll spend you'll spend more effort which will start to become more of your time with the ERT EAT model and you'll spend less time with the old model so it'll be kind of a smooth transition it's a lot of work a lot of discipline required but the results are very very gratifying That's great. So what what does it look like as like an advisor coming into your system? Like what are some of the problems you're seeing that you're helping them solve that other other organizations aren't doing in the, the marketplace right now? Well, most advisors are working with the red ocean where the competition is bloody. Everybody's doing the same thing. You know, they're buying leads. Um, and that's not as effective anymore. It really, and it kind of solidifies you as a salesperson. You know, the seminars are kind of really expensive and a little bit outdated and it's red ocean. You know, you're, you're, you're competing with what everybody else is doing. It's a different world. Um, radio, same thing, expensive. Uh, you're kind of in a shotgun approach asking for referrals, kind of unpredictable and hard to scale. What we do, Josh, is we teach advisors how to collaborate with CPAs to truly create a unique value proposition, unlike anything you'll find in the marketplace. And when advisors and CPAs come together to form a true proactive planning partnership and then supplement their area of expertise with a virtual family office, it creates a win-win-win. In short, advisors, along with their, their VFO or virtual family office experts, can provide the services that the clients of the CPA need, but the CPA can use their existing relationships and trust to actually get good planning done. 
And when CPAs become your strategic partners, it's going to help you deliver value to clients that creates a massive win, win, win. And everybody wins. It's a great experience and very fulfilling when you get there. So by bringing all of these advisors and CPAs together, some people might be skeptical of that, especially accountants or advisors that have been doing it the same way for 10, 20, 30 years. You know, it's hard to teach people. It's hard to show people new ways of doing things, especially if they get you know stuck in their ways. What are you, how do you illustrate that with people to help get them out of the, the rat race of being in the red ocean into that blue ocean that you mentioned earlier, Ken? Yeah, we have a, a designated process that a person follows. And, you know, we have we have everything scripted. We have, you know, we have probably roughly around 20, 25 people working for our company in different facets. So you can multiply that times the number of hours per week applied to this process. And, um, you know, it's just it's it's a very fine-tuned machine you just but you have to follow the process in fact we've had some people that have come to us that kind of feel like you know what maybe i know a little bit better um and but a lot of times many times those advisors after trying it their way will realize that we probably had a ticket on the way it was it should have been done so uh, you know, if they follow our process and and stick to our plan, they're gonna they're gonna find success. Um, the 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 main thing I would say though is this this really doesn't happen overnight. You know, it's gonna take time to work into this process, and so a lot of advisors, you know, are looking for the shiny bullet and not willing, really willing to put forth the time and the effort necessary to build these relationships. And I'm going to tell you, it's going to take you, uh, you know, it's going to take you a year uh, to, to really begin to see benefits from this relationship, maybe even up to two years. It's not, it's not overnight, it's, but it's not rocket science either. If you do the process, you stick to the process, you're going to find success. That's and, it. And how much more of a positive impact on the clients have you been seeing with this process? Oh, it's unbelievable. Unbelievable. And the results are, are, you know, the results that the client, the client experiences are just monumental. And there's that much more benefit achieved you know, you can look at it this way, Josh. Think about you as an individual and you trying to fulfill the need of another client. Do you think you on your own can fulfill the need better than maybe a proactive planning team lead um, with another four or five individuals on the team applying what that client needs? And in various areas of expertise, there's just realistically, there's just no possible way that you as an individual can do what four or five or six or more other experts, each in their area of expertise, fulfilling the needs of the client. So as I said, the, the client can actually experience a one-stop shop to where they're getting all their needs met by the people they know and trust. And they're very happy that that's occurring. Well, that's awesome that you took a risk, bet on yourself and created a system that is beneficial to not only financial professionals, but more importantly, the client themselves. So Ken, you and your team are doing it all. I appreciate you being on the podcast and we'll see everyone next time. Bye everyone.